Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Sources say that if Gennady Golovkin signs with DAZN, it's possible he could fight Demetrius Boo Boo Android. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working now. Shout out to Mike Coppinger on his verified account. He works with Fox. He works with Ring TV. You know, one of the people behind the scenes staying busy in boxing. Now, I made a video, Triple G met up with John Skipper, Eddie Hearn, trying to close a potential deal for him to go over to DAZN. He also met up with PBC. So it looks like, in my opinion, it looks like those are the two platforms and or networks that are bidding in this bidding war since HBO Boxing is now kaput that Triple G could possibly go to. Now, Mike Coppinger, he put this on Twitter. Sources, if Triple G signs with DAZN, it's possible he fights in May or June against middleweight title holder Demetrius Andre. Wow, that's definitely great news. Demetrius Boo Boo Andre, phenomenal talent. He represented America in the Olympics. Tall, rangy, fights multiple types of ways. But there's been a couple things plaguing his career. Before, it was kind of like his management wasn't really putting him in the fights. Then he would have like a big fight lined up with, let's say, Jamel Charlo. Then the he didn't feel the money was right. There was network issues where he had been on HBO, but was going to have to fight Charlo on Showtime and thought, you know, I'm the B-side. I'm not getting money. You know, they might rob me on the scorecard, stuff like that. So he pulled out and the fight never happened. And to this day, he's not fought either Charlo. So he had that got a new situation with DAZN and he's at least been active and he's become a champion in a new division at middleweight the only downside now the activity is good now you know he just fought it was supposed to be Billy Joe Saunders but through no fault of Demetrius Andrade Billy Joe Saunders couldn't pass his drug test so he, he fought the next rated guy Walter Katandakwa and he beat him guy was tough but he outclassed him knocked him down a gang of times then he already had a title defense against a guy that Billy Joe Saunders also beat that looked like Wolverine, Arthur Akov. So the only downside now is, like I said, the activity is good. He just needs, he's an elite level talent and he needs similar talent to go up against because, you know, that's how you become a star. You have to have a contemporary. If Mayweather never beat Oscar De La Hoya and just fought, you know, guys that were little known, then... He wouldn't be Floyd Money Mayweather. Same thing with Canelo. He had to fight Mayweather. He had to fight Triple G, his contemporary. Big fights with Cotto and Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. You know, he had to have those big names and, and Shane Mosley fight these types of fights to get, like, recognition. So that's where Demetrius, in my opinion, is at. He's in a spot where he's talented. The world knows he's talented, but we have to see him fight the likes of the Canelos and Charlos and just anybody like that, Triple G anybody like that that will show what he's really made of and how good he is you know even i was really looking forward to the billy joe saunders fight and it looks like they're trying to get that done however i don't think it's done right now and this is giving us a little bit of hope if triple g signs with DAZN, they want him in a big fight and that's what that tells me because we all know that if canelo gets past jacobs and triple g wins then they're going to try to make canelo triple g3 they're looking at that as a big fight that would lure casuals in for $9.99, $10 a month, and they could see a huge spike from something like that, or that's what they're at least banking on. So I like this, man. I can't wait to see where Triple G decides to call his home, but there's a lot of options, and I did a video about it. They're saying that for two fights, DAZN offered Triple G $45 million. So right now, he's just kind of weighing out his options, and... I think Andre, that would be a great fight, you know. I would love it. I would disown if they can get if they can pull the trigger and get a fight like that done, then they're making steps in the right direction for sure in terms of their their recent calendar. And that's one of the things you kinda have to do as a new business. You have to get aggressive and it looks like that's what they're doing financially. 
we'll see if this pans out and, and works in their favor. But, you know, I don't really care about that. I'm a boxing fan. If I get to see a good fight, it's a good fight, and I'm going to watch it. Andre versus Triple G is a good fight. Let me know who you think would win. Do you think Triple G would go that route and take the fight? Or do you think he's chasing Canelo? Let, you know, just let me know what you guys think. Will he go to PBC? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Sign off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Mm -hmm.